Hi, in this video I would like to show you how you could view raw files. Every camera has got its own raw files. So if I right click on this raw file and click on properties, you can see the format is CR2 file. And your camera might have a different type. And I made another video showing how to view raw files by using an app. But some of my viewers said it's not working and they were saying why so I'm gonna explain what you can do to fix it and I'm gonna show you another method that you could follow that might help you to permanently resolve this issue so first thing you need to do is to go to the Google so you go to Google and type in Canon software if your camera is Canon then this web page will open again it depends which country you're from I'm UK so for me the UK side opens if yours is in US you should select the US one but from the Google search you it will find you the right one so once you're in the website Canon website you need to go EOS camera if that's your camera type then you need to select the right model my camera model is EOS 200D and in US it is called EOS 70D they are the same but again you select your right type of camera it might be EOS 5D Mark IV which I know is a really good camera but I'll go with my cheap and cheerful camera which is EOS 200D it automatically detects the operating system but what we want is software so we go and click on software again whether it's a Mac or Windows you select here or it automatically detects and then all you need to do is to click on download you need to read through all that if you want to then click accept and here we need to put our serial number of our camera and once you put your serial number and press enter you can download for Canon you can find the serial number at the back of the camera and it's uh, the biggest font numbers it's just numbers that's at least on my camera so you click on save so it is downloaded here we can extract the file so I extract here then click on the folder double click on the installation file it's not a small file it's around 300 megabytes so you select your region then you need to select your country then next language funny they call it easy installation usually it's express but <laughs> let's see what custom installation has so it basically says close any other application and then click OK so make sure you close as much application as you can especially if you have got any other Canon software please close that then click on OK so basically custom allows you to select any of these tools that comes with this package so you can uncheck any one of them that you might not need so we can just continue and press next so I will install all of them again click now on install please read this it's nice to read this in your own time and then click yes if you accept it installation results and it all says ok it's very interesting it's, terminology is a bit different than many other softwares but click next no I will register later I'm in the middle of something here shows you what you have to do in order to be able to re register it again and then click on finish so we go back to our folder with the raw pictures right click on one and we click on open with and you can see this app start appearing it's called DPP4 let's select that and see whether it does the job 
so here you could view all the pictures quite easily and you can even modify them change them the way you want and I find it really useful and it's always better use the software that comes with the camera rather than a third-party software so I totally recommend using this method for opening your raw photos and then you can edit there are a lot of a lot of options around here that you can work with such as just showing raw or jpeg images different way of showing the thumbnails with the title or without the title or just as a list this is the best way that you could do anything you want to you can apply filters you can print you can save you can convert the pictures to other formats that are more accessible before I finish off this video I also want to show you how you could make the file so that whenever you double click on them it automatically opens using this software that we have just installed so you right click on one of the raw photos then click on open with then click on choose another app the same list of apps appear and we select DPP4 and we check this box which says always use this app to open .cr2 files then click on OK as you can see it opened again so if I go here I can just click on any one of them and I can easily open them it shows you which one you selected just play around with this software and let me know if you have any questions I can make another video to help you use this great software better I mean there are different layouts that you can have for example this is quite good for previewing photos scrolling through the different pictures so you can scroll through all your photos quicker and at the same time preview you could you know close or minimize this to get more screen size and now all of our photos are converted into uh, this shape that means you can just double click on them and they will open using this uh, software that we have installed also the last thing I want to mention is that if you go on start and go to your all programs and if you go to place where C and you can see Canon utilities and if you click on that you could see all the software that have been installed with it uh, you could also view these photos using picture style editor but it has less, less functionalities than digital photo professional 4 if this video was useful please don't forget to subscribe I really need to get to that 10,000 subscribers also if you have any questions put that in the comments below and I will do my best to be able to answer them and I also got a lot of tutorials on my channel that you can watch and I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.